This video is designed to talk you through um, what a drainage basin is and help you to understand the type of questions that will be asked in the CA GCSE uh, drainage basin uh, exam. So first of all, the title of this is drainage basin and the definition of a drainage basin is an area of land drained by a river and its tributaries. I'd like to talk about um, a leaf, as you can see in the picture here, uh, to help us remember the different aspects of a drainage basin and think about how they work. So obviously the leaf represents the edge of the drainage basin, this main stem here represents the main river channel and these are smaller rivers that would flow into it. So keep that in your head, we'll refer back to it uh, in a couple of minutes after we've talked about the actual drainage basin. So you can see a screenshot of a diagram here uh, and this relates to uh, the drainage basin and I'm going to talk about some of the terms and what they mean. Obviously the first input, or sorry, the only input into a drainage basin is um, precipitation, which is any method of water moving from the atmosphere down to the ground surface. And the examples are rain, hail, sleet and snow. And in this example they've got rain and snow. You can see here there's got a label which is the watershed, and the watershed is a dividing line around the drainage basin. It marks the edge of the drainage basin. Any precipitation falling on this side of the line makes its way into this river and out to the sea. Any precipitation falling on the other side of the line, the other side of the watershed, moves into a different drainage basin, different river channel, and out to the sea in a different part of the world. Uh, can't really see it in this diagram, but the source of the river is the starting point for the river. Uh, this is the main river channel. Smaller rivers which join into the main river channel are called tributaries. The point where tributaries join the main river channel are called the confluence. Um, and the mouth is the area where uh, a river flows out to sea, normally the ending point of the river. Here you can see what it looks like in real life. So this is like a terrain shot uh, from Google Maps. Um, the red line marks obviously the watershed. So any precipitation that falls inside this red line makes its way over land to the river channels, uh, makes its way through those channels and eventually out to sea. These points here represent the source. So we can see there are a number of different sources or starting points for all the rivers. Um, this could be the main river channel that I'm following now. This therefore would be a tributary and this is a confluence. These are also other tributaries and confluences and obviously the river channel gets larger um, as it moves out to sea. So hopefully you can see how that relates to the first diagram that we showed you of the leaf. Um, obviously the edge of the leaf represents the watershed, uh, main river channel, tributaries, confluence, and this would be the source or the number of sources around the, the edge of these rivers. Um, at this point, um, I can show you uh, sort of typed out uh, definitions of all the terms that I've just talked about. So you could pause the video and write these out and use them uh, to help you study. Um, if not, the last thing I want to talk about today is ex type of questions. Two main types of questions that you get at GCSE. You can see here that we have got a diagram really similar to what we have in our notes uh, and what you've seen in the video today. And basically the question is saying here, can you complete the key for figure one by labeling, labeling the features A to E? So obviously A um, is the mouth, B is the source, C is the watershed, D is a confluence because there's two rivers joining together here, and E is... Uh, a tributary. Uh, really straightforward five marks uh, in the exam. Um, the other type of question that you get with this is a simple definition question for two marks. So the question would probably come from this list and it would ask you to define what a watershed is, define what a source is and that's how you get your two marks.